راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين In the name of Allah, the compassion of the merciful All praise is due to Allah And may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad His family, his companions and his followers All until the day of uh, uh, reckoning Today I welcome you to this new episode uh, A new lesson in the series of Tafsir um, In the first level by uh, Zad Academy and uh, we are continuing uh, explaining about the books of tafsir. We already mentioned the two great books that uh, gave us the uh, study of uh, uh, or giving the tafsir by al Ma'thur, by what was reported authentically from the Prophet وسلم, the companions and the tabi'een. Now we are coming to the um, uh, uh, third book and that is that book today we're going to address two books by the way. Uh, last time we talked about uh, Tafsir Ibn Jarir Al-Tabari and then by uh, Al-Imam Ibn Kathir Tafsir Al-Quran Al-Azim and then we're talking today about first Ma'alim Al-Tanzil this is by Al-Imam Al-Baghawi and the, he is al Hussein Ibn Mas'ud Ibn Muhammad uh, Al-Ma'roof bi Al-Farra Al-Baghawi He is known by his known Al-Baghawi When you mentioned Al-Baghawi you already combined it with Ma'alim Al-Tanzil the landmarks of the revelation meaning the glorious Quran Al-Imam Al-Baghawi died in the year 500 and 16 of Hijrah and again when we coming to Shaykh al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimahullah uh, he actually gave us a statement on uh, when, he's, when he was asked about uh, uh, what is the most uh, close books of tafsir <coughs> to Al-Quran and Sunnah uh, is it Al-Imam Al-Zamakhshari or Al-Imam Al-Qurtubi, or Al-Imam Al-Baghawi. He said in his Fatawa, the very famous voluminous book of Al-Fatawa, he said all these three uh, books <coughs> sorry, uh, of Tafsir, then of course the most safe among them from Bid'a, the innovation, and the weak hadiths is the uh, book by Al-Imam Al-Baghawi. Uh, see, Al-Imam Al-Baghawi actually summarized the book by Al-Imam Al-Tha'labi. And he omitted and took away all the weak hadith and in fact all the, uh, the uh, fabricated hadith and bid'as that were reported by al-imam al-thalabi so he omitted uh, omitted many things from from that book so that is that is important and then uh, uh, this tafsir uh, actually is a summary by al-baghawi uh, and he uh, actually took away the israeli reports that is very very important to take away the uh, reports by the Jewish 
uh, reports that were, were taken by from, as we said, Ka'b al-Ahbar, Wahb ibn Munabbih, as we said earlier. So uh, he tried to withdraw all these things and took it, uh, uh, he took it away. That is, that is important. And Al-Imam al-Baghawi did a great job in this respect. He actually cleaned uh, his own book, which is basically a summary from Al-Imam al-Tha'labi. And that used to be um, uh, done in the earlier times. They used to summarize books. They used to carry from other books, sometimes big chunks. But they would say that I... Uh, referred, I went back to such and such imam, I, I'm taking this from, from him. The most important thing is that they, they were uh, carrying the knowledge. They want to pass on the knowledge to uh, the readers and to uh, widen the use uh, and dependence of Muslims uh, upon these. And, and, and of course, uh, in this process, they would uh, modify, they would increase, they would correct, they would unth authenticate some of the hadiths. And that is very important. Nowadays, we, we of course, in recent uh, decades, we witnessed, alhamdulillah, many good uh, editing of the earlier books. And we have people both in tafsir, in hadith, in aqidah, in, in many of the uh, fields of Islamic knowledge, alhamdulillah, we, we have uh, students of knowledge who would come back and, and edit and um, try to substantiate some of the uh, hadiths reported and to clean, to explain linguistically and uh, lexically all, all the meanings uh, of, of terms that are, are used in the earlier books. And that is a great work. It, it's to serve the knowledge and to make it clear to the students of knowledge and to even warn them against something like this and to compare copies that were found in, um, in manuscripts uh, in this particular library or that particular library, which is to serve that field of knowledge. Very, very important. And uh, the work by uh, Al-Imam al-Baghawi, rahimahullah, is of this kind. That's why it is so important in this regard. Let me go to the next one, which is Al Jami' li Ahkam al Quran by Al Imam Al Qurtubi. Now, Al Qurtubi from Qurtuba in Andalusia, um, today's Spain, and uh, Al Imam Muhammad ibn Ahmed ibn Abu Bakr Al Qurtubi died in the year 671. Rahimahullah, and he wrote his, his uh, book, Al Jami' Li Ahkam Al Quran. So, the collective work in, uh, regarding the uh, rules of the glorious Quran. Now, Al Imam Al Qurtubi, although he used to follow the Maliki uh, Madhab, uh, was famous for not uh, being so. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, held by, by following only his own madhab or, or, or saying that it is the only one correct. No, he actually uh, took regarding the ahkam, uh, uh, all the rules of the glorious Quran uh, regarding fiqh and so on. He used to go to uh, opinions of other, other scholars, um, uh, mashallah whether it's being Hanbali or Shafi'i or uh, Hanafi, or, uh, and, in, and of course besides the Maliki. His own methodology was, was, was very good. He would uh, not only interpret uh, one verse by one verse, which doesn't give you the full meaning and the context uh, of, the, of the ayahs, but rather he used to, to, to bring it into um, uh, pieces uh, and then he would uh, give you a, 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 a number of ayahs all together, and then he would make a tafsir of that in general. And then uh, uh, he, he would include many, many things in there, whether this is being fiqh or stories or the uh, reasons for revelation and so on. And then, uh, although he was, he was really 
basically looking after the fiqhi issues in, uh, in these ayahs. And then he would uh, pass on the rules and then he would give you uh, the uh, uh, evidence or dalil uh, from the ayah itself. And of course, mashallah, he had a wide knowledge, he had, had a great knowledge that he would even discuss the various opinions of uh, uh, fuqaha uh, regarding a particular issue um, or a particular reason for revelation or uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, strange things that were mentioned uh, in the books of uh, tafsir regarding this particular ayah and so on. So mashallah, he was um, again verifying because of his wide knowledge, was verifying all the reports and trying to compare and to give you evidences. So he was, he was a great scholar. That's why Al-Jami' al-Ihkam al-Quran is one of the uh, great books of tafsir uh, in this regard, and, and, and um, uh, Al-Imam Al-Qurtubi, Rahimahullah, authored this, this mashallah, in this uh, great uh, book. Um, if we go to the activities, um, you can write an article regarding the methodology of uh, Al-Imam Al-Qurtubi in his own tafsir. Just like we explained, and you'll find even more books. You know, you can go to the beginning of the uh, books, particularly the books that were edited and and um, and uh, substantiated, or uh, uh, you know, uh, with commentary uh, and reviews being uh, done on this book by by the students of knowledge. You can go to the beginning of the first volume and find the methodology of Al-Imam himself with uh, even um, uh, a brief or, or sometimes a uh, long uh, biography of uh, Al-Imam, the, the author of, of a particular tafsir. And you can, uh, in order to make clear, you can go ahead and compare the methodology of Al-Imam Al-Qurtubi with the methodology of Al-Imam Ibn Jarir Al-Tabari and again, the methodology of Imam al-Baghawi. Now we have three great scholars who did, who did tafsir bil-ma'thur, which is Imam al-Qurtubi, Imam al-Tabari, and Imam al-Baghawi, all the three authoring these uh, great tafsir, and you can compare uh, the methodology here and there, where all, mashallah, uh, gave us reports from the Sunnah and the uh, sayings of the Sahaba and the saying of the Tabi'een, yet everyone would have a certain uh, tendency uh, towards one particular area here and there, and some of the remarks regarding their own uh, 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 tafsir. So these are things that uh, we can always uh, uh, compare in order to make clear and to understand more about the books of tafsir. I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open our hearts to uh, knowledge and please be sincere in seeking the knowledge so that Allah would open uh, your heart to the truth and may he increase you in knowledge. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين يا راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم تقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان